My name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dance choreographer and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. We're going to be taking a look at Espa's drama dance practice. This is a Patreon request, so shout out to Zay for the recommendation. I technically have never watched an entire Espa routine. I've seen excerpts, of course, if they've come along my algorithm as a reel or as a challenge of some sort, but I have not heard the song. I've not seen really any of the choreography here. I have seen a lot of hustle and bustle of people reacting to it, but I have not seen it technically yet so I'm pretty excited about it it's gonna be great and I am definitely looking forward to uh, seeing what they offer so let's go ahead and check it out I like the little reverb there, that was fun. Definitely an earworm on this one. Okay. I really like that I bring, I bring. Really great to change the tone and get us shifted into the course. Really great focal point choreo too. It's easy to mimic and easy to feel the essence of the track as well. Nice. Nice. Mm, a little bit off there. That's okay. This is a one take. I'm always appreciative of one takes. Love that. That's cool. That's fun. Oh, we ain't done. Okay. That's a fun finish. And I love that the dancers compliment it on the tail end of that. <gasps> There's a performance version. Let's watch it. Here we go. Here we go. This is what I want to see. Oh my god, you say what? You better watch out, or you need me to come home. Tell me, I'm going to eat some food. I like, 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 I
Nice. I like this a lot. That's fun. Yeah, the lighting on that's cool. Her hair is freaking sick here. things are much more clear here obviously I know that to be the case because it's a performance video so you're able to get the ideal takes of everything here um, and dance practice that one was a one take love that love the subtlety of that Looks cool. That was cool. Performance version looks freaking sick. Definitely makes the choreo look much more um, conceptual, of course, because, you know, you got your concept, you got the whole environment. I am debating on which version to analyze. Normally, I analyze the dance practice, but this one's a lot cleaner. And I feel like you can still pretty much see the intention of where they want us to look, but it's not a one take. Hmm, let me think. Okay, I went with the dance practice because we can see everything, but also I know it is a lot cleaner in the performance, so I may not touch on the cleanliness as much um, as I will talk about the overall schema of the formations and things like that. Now, I do know Redalik was the choreographer for this. Makes total sense. I can see the overlap in her movement quality from my time of when I saw her on Mana Queen, Team Mana Queen with them. Um, uh, on Street Woman Fighter. So very much looking forward to diving into this from the top. So I really do like having you have your form, I think one, two, I'm assuming three, four, uh, four members of Espa. Um, I know one of them was in the Mana Queen Mega Crew. I don't know who, maybe my dancer in center that I don't, that I don't know. But anyway, but having it already Great balance, good symmetry because you have your dancers have their hands up, showcasing really nice level. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, but you have one point, but then with somebody directly behind, looks great. It's just a really nice start. So from here, I love how she stands there, uh, projecting, and everybody took their hand and they projected it over towards the inside towards her. Then they took both hands, shot them up, turned around towards the inside. I love how she has this little sweep energy that really helps promote that rotation going towards the inside. Looks great. 
Love that turn as well. Super good to see everybody reset right here. We are ready to go. Love the pull. Then we push it away. Then you have it where one of them has her hands on two of the dancers. The dancers are significantly lower than everybody else. Then you have your other three members have their hands accented out more stylized with the hand. And they're taking it very clear to see who your members are. And I always appreciate that because remember, this is technically my first reaction at Espa. Don't really know any of their names. I think somebody's named Winter. Someone's named Giselle. I don't know anybody else's names. And that's fine. You know, this is the first video and I'm gonna give myself some slack and I think knowing two names out of four is pretty good <laughs> for a first encounter here. Uh, but I really do love it whenever choreography makes it easier for people who watch to know clearly who you want me to focus on. So if there's somebody who is uh, singing as a soloist within the group, I wanna be able to see them clearly through the choreography, not just because of a camera zoom in. So knowing that this is a fixed cam, it's a wide shot, we can really tell whether or not we're looking at the right person. So I do like having um, your members of ESPA right here. It's very clear to see Then you have more of a mirroring taking place. But not everybody's doing the same choice, but the mirrors are doing the same choice, right? And that's what I'm a fan of. It showcases, you know, more individuality, but structure within it because your mirrors are matching, but it's framing towards the outside. Having your two dancers low, like I mentioned, my assumption would be this is my feature because she's the outlier out of everybody in the space. So that was really fun. Fun to see. I like she takes a boom, do doon, doon, doon. Then you have the accents there. She takes it, wah, and then boom, boom. Really nice choice of the staccato hit, getting everybody to neutralize. But she's still our feature because she's the one who's accenting using her hands and her body. Dropping it down. Then notice everybody. She's the one who stays nice and stoic in the middle. Everybody extends it out towards the outside. Really love that. Having your two outside mirrors walking forward, allowing great framing still towards your feature, towards the inside, which is great. Ding, ding. Really great fingerprint. We're noticing very clean and clear touch angles on this. Some people are choosing to overcross, not overcross, but create different angles. Here and here are different. And you do notice that here in the mirrors, because we've noticed the mirrors do typically match. You have some of them that are overcrossing, some that are not connecting the the wrists and some that are. But remember though, this was all nice and clean in the performance video. I didn't catch it there, so we're not really gonna talk about it here. But those are little things that they would probably have to focus on in the cleaning process to make sure they're all on the same page on. Range on how to get to a move matters just as much as a move itself, right? Whenever you wanna interweave it, if you want it to look clean, how you get in and how you get out and where your energy is focused on within that movement is what really helps us be able to see that nice and clean 100% of the way, not just halfway. So then from here, we have our members right here in the middle, then with your V towards the outside. Nice energy, you can tell there's energy because their hair is giving it away. Love that. Then we have them switch over. I love that little, each one has a nice little moment Then it feels like, oh, excuse me. I like how we're taking the angle, framing it towards the inside, makes it a moment. Having two of the members with their back facing, everybody else takes it here. We do see this type of movement fingerprint later on in verse two with one of our dancers or one of our performers. Then I like this, what, what? And then they all branch it to the outside. They're like, I'm not in this conversation, but we'll frame it. And then having those two, of course, they're the ones that are vocalizing back and forth. So they're the two that are the outliers within the formation and the choreo, which I really like. I like that choice, having one of our dance, uh, performers go over and then she branches it out with an arm extended. That looks great. Then she goes forward, only one going forward. Transition happening behind her. The clump has now happened right here. Of course, we're choosing a nice a lot of linear framing as our dancers are creating more um, in energy, projecting it towards the inside, still keeping us focused in the center. I do say this pretty often, just because you're in the center doesn't mean I'm gonna focus on you. Sometimes the person most closest to the front I'm gonna wanna focus on. And sometimes when you wanna showcase more creative ways to feature your performers, sometimes you want them popping up out of the corner. Sometimes you want them coming from off stage back on the stage. So you can't always assume that I'm gonna naturally wanna look at whoever's in center. They have to own the center whenever they have it. Just because it's given to them doesn't mean that they're gonna own it so this is really good the fact that we can very clearly see what's going on she's projecting her arms forward we can also see some great framing once again and the from all of her members and the dancers are framing as well with the same energy no one is slipping up on the energy side which is great your members are matching the energy of the dancers and vice versa which makes it feel very collaborative cohesive and communal which is what you want 
In this case, I love that where they go boom projection and they have this nice, not slinky moment, but a nice moment to just allow more of a legato to take place within whatever they're doing in their isos, which is great. Once again, John Mama, love the little twinkling of the hands, not really twinkling, but more twisting of the hands in the staccato format. I love it. Then you have it right here and then she immediately turns in. The dancers are still framing towards the inside, but new reveal having your new feature her arms are still up but we don't have somebody directly in front of her so for me i naturally want to take a look at her because she is a new outlier within the feature moment that we're given so having our four right here i love that they're complimenting each other and everybody else is still framing effectively that la 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 really like that choice she goes in only person who does that love that choice I really like this as well. Some people are overshooting it over the back. Um, some have it right here. I do love the geometric choices where it uh, does feel individualized, but there is a common denominator of we want to be mindful of the type of hand that we're given. And whenever we do choose to place it somewhere, it needs to be complementary to the person next to you. So that I really appreciate and I like. And of course, with our members, they do a great job folding it down. The one that I want to look at is my dead center because she is projecting one hand forward, one hand on her hip. And and it really feels like catches my attention that right there she's the only one that moved there too boom and then ta 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 and i love this little this little twirl of the hand or the wrist towards the inside that gives a little little femme vogue moment there and everybody takes it over really like that choice having uh, our four members stay up which is good bringing it through and then having your columns now set once again now we have a new center in play and all the other dancers who are on the outside, they are about to walk away. Then you have your four, including your feature. They're all facing towards the inside, except for your features. The only one really facing front. Naturally, I want to take a look at what she's about to do because she's the one that is showcasing something different and projecting, hey, look at me, it's my time. And that's what you want to see. So she's doing a great job of providing a lot of tension that's building from the hip. And then you have a lot of ESPA members. They are taking the energy and projecting it towards the outside, which is really nice. Your dancers walk away. And then I appreciate the intensity of the tempo in which they're walking off to. They're not just walking off, okay, I'm done, I'm ready for my break. It's they were walking off with a purpose. Then you have your ESPA members right here. Now they have to hold it down. They don't have their dancers now, but they still have to maintain the energy. Yes, the song helps because the phrasing, the timbre, the tonal colors, and the sound production and the layering are all different here. So it really does help with the reset of we have four members instead of all of the dancers. So we don't need as much fullness, but we can can showcase fullness of this part of the music effectively because of who we are in which I really appreciate I do like that I like this right here with a little a little bit of energy there love it control the elbows which is good boom really nice reset of everybody here I like that choice from her ding ding boom dropping it down very clearly they help me know who I need to look at and I like that right there. Notice she completely finishes the rotation of the finger before she comes right back up. And I love the tension. They all made the same concession to slowly build their energy back up, which I really like. We're walking through. I love that little choice there with the broken of the wrist. Then have your dancers come back onto the scene. I love this I bring I bring yes it was significantly cleaner in the performance video so I won't talk about it as much here but the I bring I bring love the projection or the sharpness of it I think it was sharper in the second time she did it than this very first time it was a bit underwhelming the first time not gonna lie but we were able to see it in its proper context so we can appreciate it for what it is <clears throat> And I like that I bring, I bring, I bring. Then it goes drum, ma, 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 ma. Different way we're sitting in our posture, which I really like. So it's drum, ma, 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 ma. A lot of swings and a lot of rotation happening that's covering from the forearm, which I really like. Then we bring it in, boom, boom. A lot of bleeding in and out. And we drop it with a little reverb. I love that choice too. A little footwork that's providing a lot of heaviness, but we're still kind of like, we're slapping our energy, which is really cool. I do like it. It's a really great way to sing a paint on the track. There's that slapping sound to help justify that further. It looks great. I love it with the little gun, like what you want, dropping it back down. I love it. Girls in the back, girls in the back. Then she goes drama, switch to a new feature. Dancers doing a great job framing towards the outside and the V looks great here. Drama, ma, 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 ha. Really nice seeing that there. Drama, ma, 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 mm-hmm. In the back, girls, 
And then I like that choice to create it as a transition. Then they double it up. And then they have a really nice diagonal taking place with your members and then having your dancers mirrored on the, on the other side. Drama right here. Then we have this really, really fun focal point choreo. It's just fun, drama, ma, ma, ma. And I like how we have the index figure separated so it feels very specific and stylized. And I just like it with the, um, with the hips, with the switch on it, it looks great. And then notice our dancers have dropped. They're placing their hands on their thighs so they can really hinge it out and go more parallel with the body to really allow the level. And Espa is taking the more higher ground where they're still arching the back, but where their weight is. They don't have to put their arms on their thighs like the other dancers do. They can just do it. The range is around the same in how they're doing it. I love that, girls. In the back, all the dancers go up. Espa goes out. So that's how you can showcase the four compared to everybody else. Looks great. Diving it back in. Boom. Love that choice. And the dancers are doing a good job of using the angle. And versus not needing hands, but they use the body to help stay collaborative in the pocket that they're wanting to go for. Then with Espa, they're doing a really good job of using the upper body to help justify on a similar plane, which is nice. And then they switch it. Drum, ma, ma, ma. Drum, ma, 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 ma. I think it, they were more intense or more, mm, they had more performance quality in the performance video, of course. It is harder to do in the dance practice space, but if you do practice performance in the dance practice space, it makes it easier and more natural when you perform it. We do we do that a lot in the studio competition sense, um, where if you're not practicing in the dance studio space, when you go on stage, a lot of times when you're focused so much on performing, your technique suffers for it because you're not practicing both at the same time. There are two different skill sets that you have to do on stage, hence why some competitions, it's two different rubrics of criteria that you look for in performance versus skill. So in this case, they're doing a very good job. They are showcasing a lot of accents or posture presentation, but I'm not noticing as much of the performance side facially or intention with how they're projecting. Not a bad thing, just an observation. I'm fully aware this is a dance practice and I did get to see it in its proper cinematic context, which is great, but it's still something of an observation that I do feel over time as they continue to grow and develop. That would be a really good area that could potentially help them when they do perform. Or I know they perform often, they've been around for a while. Uh, but my, my point is that can help with the conversion of whenever you learn choreography in the dance studio space, it looking more natural faster by practicing the performance side of it, not just in body, but in facials. So having this energy there, I love that once again. It's just fun, it's enjoyable. I love the build up there. Digging it in once again, drama. Love how they're walking forward. That was so freaking sick in the performance video. Bum, bum, the lighting divine there. Boom, that was sick. The dancers being nice and chill. These other dancers walking away. Then we have our first feature here. I like that one, two, three. Now the camera panned over to this moment over here, hence why you don't really see this setup. We're not supposed to see the setup as much. So I'm not really gonna talk about it as much, but on this side, looks really fun to see. I like that. She goes and she kind of knees her. She goes, ow, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny. They drop in, da 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 da, queen right here. This is similar to the movement that our dancer said earlier that I noted. Then you have a new setup over here on stage left. She holds it, she drops it, boom, she brings it up, and then she goes dun dun dun. Very similar to when you did, when you, when you saw this choreo. That's really nice to see. Then all the dancers have dropped the level to really showcase their feature. New feature unlocked, she's in center. Then you have your two ESPA members complement in the, in, in the center center. But the center of this side group right here, the dancers do a good job. I do appreciate well, some of the dancers really using their body to help push their back, pushing the energy of the arms. Some are just kind of moving the arms so it doesn't feel as powerful. That's why they're not using a powerful part of their body, which is their back. Um, but I do like the pull, that, that push out that what we're seeing right here from one of our, one of ESPA members looks great. Then you have this group break away. She has it nice here, boom, boom, love that. And then I love the tension of the dancers as they drag that or they like twist that knee in. It looks great. Yep, da-da-da-da. 
This was fun. That definitely had a bigger impact to the performance video. Dun, 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 dun. Very clearly can hear that downbeat when they're hitting it on that little sugar action there. Love that boom hit and little groove action happening there. Love that. Then they snap it over to the side. Looks great. Now, it does feel like one of our dancers was a little early here. I mean, whatever. Who cares? That's fine. It goes down over. Click it over. Really great having the sharpness of the stop before we have a nice little performance accent there. That right there. They're doing a good job of like the slap kind of staccato. So it's not clear. It's like has a little um, spiciness to the end of it, right? Not spicy for sensual, but spicy for there's just like an extra stylized effect to it is what I mean by that. Um, so having um, Espa right here in the center, still having your um, still having your feature in that moment. Love it. She's the only one that's different. There's mirror taking place within the members, but then you have the dancers also mirror, but they're doing more neutral choreography where all of them are doing pretty much the same thing, but they're mirrored. And Espa's the only one doing something slightly different, but it's complementary and dynamics. Notice that it's a speed change, nice and slow. In here, you can tell they're melting into their next spot, but there's still tension there, right? And I love with my front performer, she brings those arms up, love it, and it provides a nice moment for our performer that is up on her level, being able to contribute and drop it down. Love the bleeding of the energy. Once again, we have our dancers over to the side, nice fully parallel. They're using and they're bending one of their legs to straighten the other with the swing of the arm. I like it, it's good, it complements well, showcases great levels and it showcases a wide range of movement going to and fro, looks great. I love this here. And then they break away at the same time, looks clean. Then the dancers right here, very stoic and they're walking, not doing anything to take away from what's going on with our four members, love that. They're back to the columns and I like that. All of them are touching the same area equally. We don't have somebody that's over hovering, somebody that's um, touching too much or too low. And so it's very tasteful here. Honestly, it's one of the best demonstrations of it. Every time I see it in like a dance practice, a lot of times there's always one person that's super off, but it still gets the point across. This one, everyone's pretty spaced out pretty evenly. One note that I'm saying that I will say though, um, if you do notice, we this is probably our third time we're in this two lines here to frame Espa. So my note for whoever set the formations, because I know Redalik was the choreographer, but just because a choreographer does the choreography doesn't mean that they also were in charge of the formations and the visuals. A lot of times, depending on the type of group, I don't know how SM does a lot of their group structures. A lot of groups do puzzle pieces where some they bring in a ton of choreographers and they have, okay, this chorus is one choreographer, this dance breaks another choreographer, this verse is this choreographer. So you get a bunch of different perspectives, but they make it cohesive somehow. A lot of times there's a team of in-house choreographers and cleaners. We do forget about the cleaners a lot of times. If you don't know what that is, somebody who cleans choreography is somebody who goes through and audits it and basically figures out what is the most practical approach to the choreography given and how to set up and make it practical for what's going on for the type of event that they're doing. That's also a movement performance director. I think that's more that role, but a cleaner is somebody who goes over the content and makes sure that everybody's on the same page on what they're supposed to do when. That's a very important job that a lot of people don't think about because it's not as glamorous. It's the tedious part. It's the behind the scenes. That's where a cleaner comes in and shines. And a lot of times members have a member that has delegated the cleaner of the group. So they normally are able to do it within the group versus having somebody outside come in and do it. I am a cleaner for multiple studios I work for on the competition side. Outside choreographers come in, set some pieces. I also contribute and choreograph pieces myself, but I go in, I audit and I clean routines because I train the girls on a curriculum weekly in different street styles depending on the year and I know what they are capable of. I also know based on the time frame that I'm given, the amount of time I'm given to clean a certain routine for a certain degree getting it ready for competition. I don't have as much time as you think you may for those types of roles and um, you have to consolidate or make concessions based on the amount of time rehearsing as well as how, where they are technically. That's just the types of skill set. It's a very different skill set than choreography. So that's something that I wanted to bring to your attention. If you didn't know, that job exists and it is very needed to help us appreciate these types of performances, the dance practices, you know, being able to appreciate the actual aesthetic and concept of the choreography. It's really nice. 
Oh, I don't even think I finished my note. My one thought, if I didn't say it, is we do notice that we have those two lines. We've kind of already seen it twice. It's the third time we've seen them set up in that way. My would always recommend if we do have a repeated formation, especially if we have dancers that we can make multiple different choices within our formations, um, just being a little bit more creative in not just going to a typical format of the two lines with our ESPA members in the middle. It is nice to keep ESPA in the middle, but I don't feel like they have to be in the middle in the same way every time. That's just an in general little note. And no, I'm not talking about content. I'm talking about formations and levels. I'm not talking about the content itself. So from here, this is nice. I do like how they are mirrored on the two sides. The dancers have built up the energy, projected a nice little punch out to the corners. I love that. Drama, ma, ma, ma. Love the rotations once again. Ma, ma, ma. Drama, ma, ma, ma. Great syncopation. Once what well, we saw already ready for girls in the back, uh, the dancers were the ones who created the transition and made it more different in the second half of the course versus Espa themselves, which is great to use your dancers in that way. Same thing that we saw earlier, similar formation, but I think a different order, right? Yeah, da 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 drama. And then we go right here, she turns. Then right here, we have our three ESPA members, one centered into the front. Everybody dropped right here. Notice our dancers are down and they have a really nice pull in tension as they come right back up. ESPA are the outliers, of course. So it's nice to see them mirror each other, but also create a nice image within the image of what the rest of the dancers are doing. Dancers are complimenting again. Nice connection as they're grabbing the shoulders and they're bringing it back. Notice where they're grabbing, they're not grabbing the front, they're grabbing the back of the shoulders. So it shows the connection but doesn't make the connection a focal point. Does that make sense? Because if they were to make the connection, that focal point, they would have put the arms in the front, not in the back. But I like the choice. It's great and it shows more fullness and connectivity, obviously, because they are literally connected. Like that, boom, boom, boom. Love that choice too. That swing, swing, bringing it up really nice. Then notice that, da, notice the run that's happening and they create a nice little add-on energy happening there too. And that pull looks really nice as well. They take it, the pull up on the energy there as well. The pull, doom, 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 doom. Great, and I like how she presents herself, uses her chest to promote where she's going and the dancers are creating a nice action going to and fro, still making Aspa that center. Of course, you have a center within the center of your feature right there, which is great. And I love that tension as she slowly comes up. Love the energy of the dancers pushing out. It frames in the fingerprints that we've already seen with a lot of these angles and a lot of those choices. It's just good. It keeps with the style. And once again, having your next performer, and love how she drapes it down the side, subtly different. Then you have the rest of your ESPA members swing the arms up. And of course, it makes it feel like they control the dancers ever so slightly there. Dancers rotate, and then they take their hands, and they bring it back as the ESPA members stay more neutral. Love that. Then you have everybody run down. Once again, we have that reset happen. Great moment of our bridge. They peel it around once more, but slightly different than what they did before. Great, and then they go woo, and then they swing it in. And then it really makes it feel more power. It adds more power to how she projects in that moment, which is great. She goes, oh God, I can't hit the note today. Maybe later. But she does a great job really showcasing with her hands to allow the straight line to happen. And she infiltrates the it, herself. I love the subtlety of this moment that really showcases the beauty of the tension of the hand. I love that. I love the fact that we have it and I know we see it at the end too. It looks great. Yep, girls in the back. And notice that whenever they hit it, the dancers dropped. It really shows a, like a really nice like aura impact and energy impact where they hit and it causes the dancers to impact to the back. Once again, you see them drop back again. They go drama, love the little hinge, uh, like the little hinge forward, looks great. Then you have your two groups where you have one of your members and then having them drop, drama, ma, but also they have this nice little boom reverb there. So a reverb is different than a rebound. A rebound is where you have equal energy hitting and then coming off. Here it goes from big energy and it settles and that's what you're seeing there. Looks great. And then you have all the members where you have your dancers project up and then they sit back in. Aspa goes out and reverbs back in to justify 
then great noticing one feature. Notice that she's not in the center, she's on the far side, but we could easily see her why. Everybody did their job, dancers did their job, she was the outlier, that's what you wanna see. If she's the feature that's supposed to happen, she needs to do something to stand out, that's exactly what she did, looked great. That drama, then you have your dancers have gone now on all fours, they're slowly going doom and boom. Honestly, they're going from a, what is it? <sighs> Cat to, um, we call it, uh, whenever sometimes, whenever you're stretching, you arch your back and then you, uh, you what is it called? Col not collapse, what is it? Goodness, it's concave, I say concave convex, it's not that, it's a, um, just like a collapsing in and then you arch it up. So it's interesting to use the hair to their advantage there. And then you have Espa digging the energy on there. Drum, ma, 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 ma. So I do feel like one of them starts and then the others join in. Great add on for that moment. I did note it first, my dancer or my performer in the red hair. I did think she made a mistake, but looking at the performance video, I think she did it first and then everybody contributed equally after at the right time. So the dancers go, they swing their arms up, promoting a different level, which I really like. Very easy to see who your performers are and who your dancers are, um, but it still feels very full and there's a lot of depth to it because they bring it all the way around the formation, not just on the sides. So I do like that here, boom, in the back, love that. She takes it, she swims it around, and I like the points here. And then the dancers, I love this pulsing energy and they're really committing to staying low as for staying up I love how they're walking and really sitting in those hips as they walk looks great and then notice too that they're going towards the outside and then one of our members really brings it towards the front really great way to do that then they go drama boom all the dancers and everybody is contributing to the same arms with the levels represented really help us know exactly who to look at Oh my God, you have Espa really take the energy a lot higher because our dancers are still lower in level. So you do see everybody throw the arms up, but Espa's contributing to a higher level representation, which is nice. Then it goes drama. Now you think it's over. It's not. They slowly walk. Then of course she has her moment here. Yeah. Then they have a nice moment here between them. Then she goes drama. She's the only one that looks front. Everybody else looks to the side. They go and they drop the hand down. I love that even through the freaking end, they were together. I love the commitment to it and how you notice this is freaking great to the type of thumbnail we see in the performance video. I really liked this, a really great start to my time that I will have inevitably with Espa. This was super cool and we really liked the fact that this was recommended. Oh, I loved this, this was cool. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch and also special shout out once again to Zay for the recommendation. If you want to be somebody that contributes to directly what I react to, I have a tier on Patreon called In The Pocket and that one guarantees you a reaction every month. Um, and I do have very uh, select spots for it. I do not have um, I do not have a lot of spots because I can only react to so much every month and I want to make sure that I stay on schedule and I provide quality over quantity, but I try to do both. Um, if that interests you, hopefully that'll still have some availability, um, but if you're okay with just vibing out and having a good time, I always release first onto Patreon, so not only if you were in that tier do you get that privilege, you also get access to everything I ever record uh, as I record it, uh, regardless if it takes a day to come on to YouTube or a year. You get it as I make it, as I edit it, and as I upload it, you get it. So sometimes you're gonna get maybe two videos, sometimes you get six. It really just depends on the day. <laughs> if that's something that interests you, Patreon is there, ready for you to binge to your heart's content. I have so many K-pop analysis on there that are not released to YouTube at this time, and I'm always in the middle of a marathon of a K-pop group where I look at their entire discography in chronological order to appreciate their movement quality and their progression as a team and as individuals. So I haven't done that with Espa. This was a really fun start, and maybe one day I'll have the privilege of doing that with them. But we're gonna enjoy a little bit of drama from them in the meantime. Once again, my name is Jess. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.